Six people have died and hundreds more have gotten sick because of a vaping related lung illness. Well, tonight we're talking to a man who used his vape every day from the time he was 15 until by the age of 21, he had two collapsed lungs. He tells Contact 7 investigator David Clue, you should not trust the claim that vaping is a safe alternative to smoking. I would always argue how safe it was until it take effect on me. One year ago, the self-proclaimed vaping fanatic suffered a collapsed left lung. At this time, I didn't think vaping had anything to do with it. And I told him that, so I didn't stop. No, he did not. I liked the, the clouds, the nicotine. Then this summer, his love of vaping collapsed, along with his right lung. My chest just got really tight, and then I felt a sharp pain come through my back up to my chest. His choice of whether to quit had been flanked by his addiction. Now I believe it's vaping because it's the only thing I'm doing. His six days in the hospital costing his family thousands and costing him 30% of that right lung. A smoker gets the benefit of years of coughing, loss of taste and smell, warnings that something worse is on the horizon. But for vapors like Kyle, symptoms don't include a heads up. And we could be years from understanding why. Until we know a lot more information about exactly what ingredient is in the vape juice that's causing these deaths or serious illnesses, the best advice is to stay away from vaping. That's terrible news for the vaping industry, still untested, unregulated, and now under tremendous scrutiny. Still 40% of Denver teens have tried vaping, and half of those were still vaping this month. Kyle Lano sees that kind of statistic and pictures an entire generation clouded by false claims and fancy flavors, only to see the true costs coming into focus far too late. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and we're going to end up on oxygen in our 20s, 30s. That was David Clue reporting.